Hey, what's up guys? Dylan here. Welcome to Project Zomboid, the zombie apocalypse survival RPG. Where you have to loot for food and manage to survive. Which actually proves to be pretty hard. Just dancing around in the kitchen here. Yeah, I enjoy this game quite a bit because I'm really into zombies and survival things of that nature. I'm going to start looting around for basic starter supplies here, such as food. Maybe some containers to put things in. Some plastic bag. That's good to put my food and such in so I don't have to carry it in my main inventory and take up space. Because you do have a certain amount of weight you can carry at one point in time. There we go. And you need a can opener to open cans, obviously. Now, I could take the rolling pin and use that as a weapon, but I'm just going to use the frying pan for now until I find something better. I'm going to take the mug and bowls because I can store water in those for later because they do eventually turn the faucets off. The electricity and uh, water works and such at the beginning of the game, but eventually they cut it off on you and don't allow you to use it anymore. And after that, it's just up to you to survive on what you have. So just check the rest of the house real quick. I do need a shirt because I'm playing as a construction worker class and you start without a shirt. Oh, a golf club. That'll be better than the frying pan for a weapon. Drop that straight on the ground. I'm taking all these sheets because they're useful for when you actually find a place to hold up and store some of your belongings. You can put them over the windows so that the zombies outside won't notice you. And you can even put boards over the windows and doors if you wanted to. You check around this house, the perimeter make sure it's safe to go in there and start looting. It doesn't look like it because there's a zombie over there. It's just a few of them. I could take them out by kiting them, but this golf club's not a very good weapon. I'd like to have a baseball bat or even better, a fire axe. Tried to let it charge up, but didn't work. I got one off there and knocked him down. It's hard to knock them down with this. I'm just gonna run away. There's no way I can manage to fight that many with just a golf club. If I had a bat or an axe it would be easier to kite them and take them out one by one, but I'm not gonna chance it. Because if you get into combat and then you get bitten or scratched, you have a good chance of becoming infected and then it's over. You can still play for a little while, but you're infected and you're gonna die. 
or you have a chance to be infected anyway. Check these windows. And it's open. Hopefully there's no alarm. Playing cards, that's good for fighting boredom later. If you get bored, it'll lead to unhappiness. Unhappiness will lead to insanity. As I said, more sheets are always good. If you're playing this game and you ever have trouble getting through a door like that one that I couldn't click on just there, just uh, push E when you're facing it and it'll open it. And like I said, you just walk up on a zombie, hold the mouse button, and it'll swing extra hard and most likely knock them down. It's good if you can sneak up on them or if you can get them to walk within range of you. I'm checking out the window to make sure that zombie didn't hear me fighting the other zombie. Just take all this food right here. Now the perishables like the milk and such, if they stay in your main inventory or even in bags that you have on you for too long they'll uh, go bad. You can't eat them anymore, they'll make you sick. You have to make sure you store them in a fridge. Of course once the power goes out that doesn't work either so eventually all the perishable goods are just gone. Just like in a real apocalypse. Just looting around seeing useful stuff dog food. Eventually I'll probably be that desperate. Mug. Store water in those for later. I'll grab a few but not so many that I'm just loaded down with mugs and bowls. Check the bathroom. You always want to be careful when going into bathrooms. And all rooms really because there's a chance that there could just be zombies in there like there was in the kitchen for me here. Time to move out. Walk carefully because there's zombies everywhere. Like there's a decent amount down there too. I'll just go the long way and buy. Well, there is a lot of them down there. I'm just gonna bypass all of those. I won't even bother checking anything in this immediate area. Just continue on. Those right there, those things up in the corner, they let you know how you guys are doing pretty much. You just run your mouse over them and it'll give you a tool tip. I think this is the trailer that doesn't have anything in it at all. It looks like there's a zombie in there anyway, so we're just going to move on. Check the perimeter of this building real quick. Take this one out if there's only one. 
not going to try to take on any more than one with just this golf club. See, that took a long time with the golf club to do. If it was a baseball bat or a fire axe, it would have been knocked down and then one shot. See if I can get in through this front window over here. Check the door. Check the window. All right, let's see what we got here. Another plastic bag. I'll take another plastic bag, but I wouldn't want to carry any more than two around with me. It'd get confusing. Especially when I find something better to put in, I'll have to take everything out of the plastic bags not really worth the time and effort to me. The orange soda that I just picked up, when I finish drinking that, I'll be able to refill it with water as well. So, duffel bag, that's nice. More sheets, like I said, as always. As many as you can afford to carry. If you're out looting, pick them up. Check this bathroom. Is there anything in this? No. Check over here. Oh, a vest. Nice. So I have a shirt now. I'll just wear that really quick. You'll be able to see my character with it on. The different colors of shirts actually change the color of the clothes that you wear. So if I found like a black shirt, it would be black, which I'd prefer to get because I'm not sure about bonuses of clothing, but you'd be able to see an orange shirt way better than you would a black shirt so I would assume that might come into play and I'm not gonna bother staying here for too long so I'm not gonna put any of my stuff away in this house probably just organize my inventory really quick sleep here the night I know inventory management's boring. Take a drink from the faucet really quick. Like I said about hanging sheets on the window, I'm just going to do that quickly. So that way, those zombies will just wander by and happen to see me through the window and eat me in my sleep. That would be no good. Although I imagine I would wake up to the sound of the window breaking. Wouldn't want that to happen either. I'm just going to avoid the whole situation. On that note, I'm going to head off to sleep. See you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Rating. Peace.